Hello submarine friends. The ROV is finally ready to go into the test pool today. I'm just waiting for some daylight and then I'll come over with the Bobcat, pick it up and haul it over to the other shop. So I have made some changes to the ROV since the last video. I am now going to go with the Arduino based control system which is being designed and built for me in Calgary. And I also have changed the compensation system from oil to air. So the arm, motors, and electronics cans are now air compensated. And I achieved that with uh, just scuba regulators, first and second stage scuba regulators. It's a pretty simple way to do it actually. So I also made this lifting apparatus so I can lift it into the test pool. I took a little bit of oil out of this uh, front light because there's huge temperature changes. I mean, it could be minus 20 to plus 20. So from one shop to the other. So I took some oil out just so that it doesn't expand and contract so much. So uh, let's get it over to the other shop and give it a try. Okay, submarine friends. You can see that I did not clean all the dirt out of the bottom of the test pool. And so now it's very mucky in here. There's even a layer of silt on top of the ROV. But um, one observation, I've got air bubbles coming out of the front of the body. So that means I must have an air leak. When I first put it in, I noticed a small leak coming from my second stage regulator, actually the holes between the two regulators. So I'll have to address that. I had to add about 150 pounds of weight to the bottom. And then those two pulleys on top represent the sweet spot. Actually, I could probably go a tiny bit more. But uh, check out the performance. I've got some temporary uh, switches set up on the other end. So let's see. Well, you can see the vertical thrusters work really well. The ROV actually cruises around the pool really well. It's really powerful, reacts really well. It, I couldn't be happier with it. Unfortunately, the whole thing quit right there. So I brought it back into the shop underneath my house and I completely tore the whole thing apart looking for the problem. Turns out one of my batteries failed it's still sending voltage. It's two six volt batteries put together to make 12 volts. And I'm still getting 12 volts, but no amperage. So all my relays were clicking, but no power to do anything. So I figured out that the battery failed. One of the batteries failed. So I'm getting two new batteries today from town and I'll put it all back together. The pool is draining as we speak so I can clean it out properly. Should have listened to my wife. She told me to do that from the start. Oh well. Anyways, uh, I should be back in the pool in a couple of days, hopefully, and uh, I'll be able to give a proper demonstration. Ciao for now.